Come on, Drinking Hobo! We can do it together! Oh no, he's being shot through the heart! Yeah! Bye now! Hello, I'm the Gaming Beaver, and today I'm bringing you another DNA rescue. This time, it's Bakula! Just a new little creature that's just come around. New creature, you say the new creature, but I've been here longer than any of the others. I've waited, I've waited for this day to come for such a long time. Okay, that, that was weird. I'm gonna go buy the creature now, I mean, uh, place it. Okay, let's see where, it, oh, we should put it next to the, uh, the ice cream cone. You guys have been commenting, telling me all the nicknames and everything, so you want this guy to be ice cream cone. So, I stand here, deliver, I'm gonna give you it. Let's put him next to ice cream cone. Looks actually, let's just go on the park, uh, road. It's smaller! It is actually smaller. How interesting. Okay. Um, let's zoom in. Zoom, zoom. Oh, I don't get too much DNA for it. Uh, there's a nice little mask there, actually. Seven bucks to f speed up! <laughs> sorry, sorry. After doing what I've just done, I was up till half six in the morning. I was up till half six in the morning. I got four hours sleep and I'm doing this again. So, let's do it. Baculite achieved buoyancy by filling chambers with with gas similar to today's Nautiluses. If you don't know, uh, Nautiluses are cool little creatures. Whenever I see them, I'm like, they just reek of like prehistoric life. Um, Again, that's what the shell was. The shell was actually empty chambers in which uh, they would have gas and it would have some sort of, uh, below its body, a tube that it would excrete uh, water or push out water really quick. And that's what would give it its movement. Um, I think it was also, I think it could travel forward as well, actually. So it could lunge towards its prey. Um, so, I think we have the Almanite. Oh wow, it's another Ammonite. I was expecting this one to be a bit like Colossal Squid. It is a gold. Oh. Hold on. Oh wow, he's got an awesome like whoop cone. That looks that looks really cool. Um So let's not waste any time. And evolve it! Is this gonna be it? Is this gonna be the fun oh uh no, never is. Never is. It always takes just that little bit extra push. It's always the last XP. Oh, not this time. Okay, Bagulets occupied the middle of the water column, feeding on zooplankton. Middle of the water column, so if you had like, is, is it talking about, like if you had the surface of the water, the deep ocean, it would occupy the middle. It was somewhere in the middle. <laughs> this, that's what they think, I don't know how you sort of get that. Anyway, here it is, lava lava. So, we're gonna see what it's gonna be like, finally maxed up, will it have good stats, will it be good enough? It will have 8,646 health, and 2,772 attack. Um, ooh, I don't know, I don't know if that's the best. It's good, but I don't know if it's the best. I I want to see what its final colorings are. So let's evolve it again! Are you going to work? I should do that all the time. It's, it seems to work. Although the overall shell is relatively straight, the apex, the ap, the apex is actually tightly coiled and only remains of a juvenile shell. I think that's talking about the end. Is it talking about the end or something? I, I'm imagining it's the end. So what kind of color are we guessing, guys? Um, well, if if ice cream cone's anything to go by, we we go sort of the red spectrum. But I'm guessing that we're gonna get something that's more along the lines of the blue spectrum. I mean, it would make sense if it was opposite. So uh, let's speed it up. What do you think? I'm saying blue or green. Oh no! It's it's it's. It's evil! It's an evil color! It's like ice cream cones, the, the good one! And... Baculites 
is the evil brother? Oh my god! Is that... Is that what that voice was? Either way, we're gonna evolve it one last time, so bear with me, would you? And I'll be right back. Is it gonna work? Are you gonna work? Every time. Every time without fail. If I turn to it and look at it, it works. How so weird is that? Baculites can range in size from as small as three inches. We're talking about something that's that big. As big as six and a half feet. So... A baculites not too big, but they are quite amazing creatures. Speed up, and it's final colorings, and yes, I'm pretty sure we are looking at what well, ice cream cones evil brother here. Oh wow! 1206 ferocity. I'm pretty sure that's incredibly close to the Mosasaur. Uh a lot stronger, almost a thousand more health and 300 more attack than his good brother. So, I mean, there's not much else to do. Let's take it for a test drive in the tournament! But let's jump straight, actually, tell you what, before we jump straight in, I need to see how many creatures we have left. Uh, I will say that I have bought some more bucks because I only had a hundred left, so I needed to do this. Uh, Baculates, there it is. Wow. Ta it oh! It's the same stats as Protosferina, would you believe? And I will say, in my previous videos, I did think that the box, the bots were unnerfed, and they're not unnerfed. It was just, I don't know, for me, it seemed like they were doing a lot more damage than what they were, but what I'm guessing was actually happening was that the creatures were sort of, like, they just had more ferocity, because I would bought all the creatures. My ferocity had gone up, so the bots I was fighting their ferocity had gone up, so that's why I was, you know, not doing as hard. And that's what happens when you get new creatures. As you've noticed, if you watch my first, like, few episodes, I was fighting not-so-great things, and now I'm fighting really good things. So! Right, hush, how are we yours? Uh, obviously, Baculites needs to be used. Uh, Baculites? Baculites? b b b, -b Bakugan? Don't call it Bakugan. <laughs> so, the, la the first team we will... So, the last team we'll use will be Colossal Squid, then, um, and then Orthoceros, and then Baculates, and that'll be a proper uh, awesome team. So I'm gonna go in, uh, we're gonna buy back, of course we're gonna buy back Baculates for uh, three times, or two times, so he's gonna be used three times. First time's free! We got a free first time! Right, so we're going first because we've started in the right column. Remember guys, if you're in the right column, you're going first. If you're in the left column, you're going second, unfortunately. Sorry to break it. <laughs> right. Um... You know what? He can help the Shark Lawnmower team. That's what he can do. We've got Shark Lawnmower Jr. Shark Lawnmower. And then Bagulance. I... I... I'm curious about this guy. I feel a certain aura about him that I'm not liking. Um, something dark, something evil. I mean, just hearing that voice before is sort of... No, I don't like it. So, Shark Lawnmower Jr., show me what you can do! Bite! Oh, yes, I forgot to mention also Tyrannosaurus Rex as well as Rajasaur and Gigantosaurus both have their finishing animation changed instead of them going Rah! they do this Rah! <laughs> that's literally what they do they do not bow their head anymore so Helicoprion can usually take a special and a normal hit from most creatures so can he do it from a Mosasaur? oh two normal hits interesting uh, may have been taken out if it got hit by a special, but it didn't this time. So whap it! And Mosasaur luckily is using all of his blocks on the helicopter, and that's sort of wasted because helicopter doesn't have the best of attacks. So, leaves in good old Shark Lord Mower to clean up house. I saw a lot of you quoting, asking actually, why you call him Shark Lord Mower? Um, it's because Shark Lord Mower, that when he wins, he makes like a sound effect, like a lawnmower, so that's where it comes from. In case you were still curious, I know a lot of you fans out there actually commented to that, that uh, comment, 
replying to it saying that it's because it sounds like a lawnmower. Uh, so, what what's amazing is that you guys actually like are a community on YouTube and if somebody's new to the channel and they don't understand like why is he called Little Brute or who's Little Brute, you'll say, oh, it's this guy and this is why. So that's, that's pretty, that's something special that like, it warms the cockles of my shower. Oh God, Shark Lomo not doing so great, not living up to its name, but Baculets is gonna come in. And I don't know if he's gonna move the screen up. I'm not guessing he's gonna be too big. Uh, and then, oh, Archelon's actually gonna kill Megalodon. It's the other way around in nature, but no, today they're turtle wings. So come on, Baculets, what can you do? Who dares summon the great bubble light? No human or beaver can control my power. Yeah, I, d I don't like that cut of his jib. Uh, <laughs> oh, Headbutt, you see that? Just whacked with the top of its cone. Block! Just in case. I'm not expecting a special. But, um, oh, our weakness is Headbutt. There it is, or Charge. I still call it Headbutt. Headbutt. Because the animation shows a fish doing its headbutt, and I mean everything basically does a headbutt for for it. So, um, oh no! And it comes back in. Oh god, that sound effect—that's creepy. Oh, it took, takes him out. So Elasmosaur is gonna go for its special here. There's no way it's not gonna go for its special if it's got any brain cell at all. It would go for its special. Okay, what you gonna do? What you gonna do? You're gonna do the body slam. Do that body slam. Oots. Not with force field shield. You don't stand a chance, buddy. So let's see it's special. It's gonna be the Almanac animation, but it's cool to see it. It does look so evil. It, just something about it looks evil. It's purple. It's... It's dark purple, it's dark blue, it's dark red. There's like a, a dark black, bluey sort of stripe on it. What are you gonna do, Elasmosaur? You think you're gonna take us out? No, no, oh, I tell you what I did get, I got a message. Somebody like sent me this a while ago now, but they messaged me and I just, it had to be something I saved. They said, uh, you should, st blah, blah, blah. Sorry, I'll skip to the, the actual bit. Dinosaurs and other prehistoric creatures get guys girls. Um, and chicks dig scrawny pale guys. Uh, and then could, could you call Hyenodon Sarah Harding after the novel. And what I find amazing is that... Are you, are you trying to say I'm a scrawny pale guy? I've got muscles! <laughs> I, I, I go to the gym every, like, I mean, I'm stuck. Oh, God, there it is. Baculates wins. Oh. Don't let this cool posterior fool you. He is evil inside. He will let the world burn a bit like Kiwi Bird would. But I feel like this guy has supernatural powers. So, I don't know. A Kiwi Bird versus Baculates would be a very interesting team. Let's have Gallicus. Because he's a new one, uh, we'll have Dolly, and where is it? Baculates. No, we're not. <laughs> I had a feeling if I put Dolly in with Gallicus, with only Baculates, even though it's badass as it is, we ain't gonna win. So I thought I'd chuck in Geosaur, because why not? It only costs like six bucks to get back. So Gallicus, so you want to call it Gal Galaxius or something like that after uh, someone in Marvel, I think. Uh, oh God! Are you feeling okay there, buddy? No, are you? You sure? Really? Okay, okay, I think they're not doing too hard. I think it's what I grasp from that. <laughs> Oh, 2200, not the best. Not the best, but oh my god. And Headbutt is Gallicus's weakness. I don't even know if we knew that, but now we do. So it's up to Geosaur and Baculites uh, to take these guys on. Basically, we just got we got a free hit and made them use a special. That was all that Gallicus did for us. 
So leave in a comment, tell me what's your favorite of these new creatures, and if you're gonna go get Baculites. I'm curious. I know we all are. I think everybody who plays this game strives to unlock all the creatures. So which one are you gonna aim for first? Um, oh, a switch! Yes! Love the switches. Switches are good. Switches are basically them giving us a free go. I'm wondering if they think they're actually feeling sorry for us. I wouldn't be surprised if in their programming it's like, yeah, they're not doing too hard. Let's switch and waste a turn. So that was a special. Most of didn't do too much actually. Only 3,300. We're gonna get another fight off. Oh, there come the blocks. There come the blocks. Oh, Juso hangs on. Come on, Gio. Show us what you got. Go for another bite. At least waste another block, if anything. There it is. So we have Baculates coming in with only them. With one block, we've got three specials. Three blocks. I was I was hoping that was a special that they were going to do, but they've actually run out. Um, so it's up to you, Baculates. Look at that. It's like needle. It's like his, these are his tentacles. And then just boom. That would hurt. You had like sharp points on them. Stabbing him. Baculates the Impaler! Okay, okay Moses, so what you gonna do? Oh, I am a bit worried, but he's got loads of health, I think you can definitely take another hit. Definitely take another hit. Uh, I'm pretty sure is not gonna have too much attack, so I think we can take two hits from, from him. Can you? No. No, no, it can't take two hits. So we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to do special block. Special? Depending if it kills it in two hits. What you made of baculates? I'm worried. I'm worried. I don't think we've won. Oh no, we have. Geosaurs are really low health. Oh, I was really worried. Oh, thank God. Yes. Oh, oh, I thought that Jesus got full health. Guys, guys, I've lost. I've lost on the DNA. <laughs> no, no. Swipe it. It's a ball. And there we go. Back in it. Were we ever worried, guys? No. No, we weren't. Back in it takes the victory. This is it. This is the moment you've all been waiting for. We've got, I could have Ammonite, but I'm not gonna do it. What we are gonna do is have Colossi Squid, uh, Orthoceros, which has more health, almost by a thousand, but like 700 less attack. And finally, for, for whopping 49 bucks, Baculite. So we have Colossal Squid, the good brother, Orthoceros, or Ice Cream Cone. He's a good guy, he's a good guy. Uh, on Baculates, which is, which is not good. Maybe, uh, Ice Cream Cone will get its own sort of, like, voice or animation. But right now, it's about Baculates. It's evil. The thumbnail's gonna look badass if I can do it properly, that is. Uh, okay. Okay. Colossal Squid, come on, you've got all the attack. With Orthoceros, I mean, there's no big hitters here. The only real... The real threat to this team is Cooler Suchus, uh, Kool-Aid, so I'd love to see a Gatorade or Kool-Aid uh, like fight if they ever do sort of aquatic glacier battle out, that would be pretty awesome. But then if they were to do stuff like that, everybody would pick T-Rex, and T-Rex would kick everything's butt. I think if that was the case, you'd realize how OP T-Rex really is. Uh, bite it! Shnam! Look at that, two hits! And basically, I'm sorry, Kira. I'm sorry. I'm gonna say hello. Hello! <laughs> oh, there it is. Colossal Squid's out. Uh, bringing in the good brother ice cream cone. I like how its model is different. Oh, it gets blocked. It gets blocked. It's like a sibling rivalry. We have the favorite child, ice cream cone. And the not-so-favorite evil child, Baculites. So come on, you can take that. you got loads of health. You're wrapped in a cushion of blood! Beautiful. Stay afloat, stay buoyant. And use a bite. Oh, it took it out! It did take it out, I was curious. 
Uh, special. We will survive. If it, and it does go for it. Come on. Come on. Survive it. Make sure vitals are attack. Yes! Yes! We did it! We did it! So we're gonna go for a swipe on the Kool-Aid. It does have two blocks left. Ooh, make that one block! Make that one block left! Are you out? Oh, It sort of just floats there and dies. <laughs> it doesn't even fall. It just dies. Okay. Swipe it. Push. Come on, Baculites. You can do it. You don't my power. Let me remind you. Uh, um, swipe and it's it's relatively even teams. Uh, do you think a normal can take it out? Do you think a normal can take it out here? Oh, a switch! Oh, sometimes the game just loves me. <laughs> I did. I said in the uh, previous video, but uh, Ludia actually got in contact with me. They wanted me to do this sort of uh, this video for them, and like they've. They've blown my expectations out of the water, that's all I can say. With this new update, with everything they're doing, they've really fixed up. And it felt for a while that Just Pop Builder was just being like spoon fed. It was like on life support. Like that's how I felt the, the game was on life support. But now it's it's almost like there's this new energy to it. There's new animation, there's new creatures, the new thing going on on and it feels like they are really pouring like a lot, a lot of blood, sweat and damn right tears into this. So, uh, like, it's amazing, <laughs> and, and apparently I've got some uh, fans on their side, so... Hello! How you doing today? That's a nice shirt you've got on. <laughs> Come back you let you can survive this, right? Yeah! Like we were ever worried. Uh, we're gonna have to go for a headbutt, and then Cooler Sutures is almost out! Jesus, so much health back and it didn't even have to block! It will have to block for this, but like honestly, it didn't have to block at all there. That's that's really good. Go ahead, Bucky, let's do it. Bop. There it is, dead. Oh, and there you go. So I hope you've enjoyed this episode, showcasing the beautiful, wonderful, one and only Bucky, let's team. Evil twin brother of Ice Cream Cone. You know, there's always one. There's always one wayward child in the family. And I get 120 bucks back. Woo! Finally, I can grind again. And we can get more bucks. So, who knows whenever they release another update. I mean, what is it? March? March? It's almost April. Okay, we'll say it's April. April, May, June. Three months. Sorry. Three months. And then that's it. We've got Jurassic World. We've got a new app game coming out. And God knows what else is going to happen. I'm pretty sure Jurassic Park Builder is going to exist. They're not going to close the game. If anything, they may uh, add Jurassic World as part of it, possibly? Uh, I don't think so. I think they'd rather start off, like, just have a new concept. Keep Jurassic Park Builder going, but have Jurassic World. So I've been the Gaming Beaver. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. Leave a like if you have. And hopefully, I'll see you on the next one. <laughs> I mean, I, I hope I'll see you on the next one. I'm gonna cut this video short. I'll see you later. Bye! <laughs>